Older brains are actually better than younger brains at a few tasks. For example, learning subtle patterns outside the focus of attention, or solving crossword puzzles, which relies on stored knowledge. But I'm afraid that younger brains are still better at most other tasks, including those that require us to think outside the box. Here's an example. They say that you should drink six glasses of water every day. And actually, did you know that when you become dehydrated, your brain tissue shrinks in much the same way that it shrinks as we age? I've got six glasses here, but I'm only gonna fill three of them. And then I'm gonna arrange them in a row, like this. Your job is to figure out how to take these glasses and arrange them so that they alternate. Full glass, empty glass, full glass, empty glass, full glass, empty glass. Here's what it should look like when you're done. Seems pretty simple, right? But your task is to rearrange the glasses into this order in the least number of moves possible. Take a minute and think about it. So, how many moves did it take you? Of course, you could do it in three moves. Or you can make them alternate by just moving two glasses. But what would you say if I told you you could make the glasses alternate by only moving a single glass? Here's how. There you go, one move. Did you figure it out? Solving problems like this is one example of what we call fluid intelligence, the ability to think logically and solve problems in novel situations. In contrast, stored knowledge, for example your vocabulary, is an example of what we call crystallized intelligence. And while crystallized intelligence is largely spared during aging, most kinds of fluid intelligence begin to decline around the age of 20. 